Hey guys, how are ya? I know it's been a while. As you can tell, I picked up a little cold, so I've been kind of out for four days. But I just want to explain to you why I've chosen to private some of our videos on our different platforms. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children, and we are Just the Bells 10. Like I said, I have been going through all of our videos on all of our platforms and privating them or deleting them just because I have been really, I've been seeing a lot of crazy stuff in the news, through commentaries, through people bringing awareness to um, privacy and safety, um, being online uh, through TikTok. And I just, ah, you know, I, I don't know. When I, when I first started doing um, TikTok, I honestly didn't really think that we were gonna grow. I was just doing it for fun. And people started asking questions about our family and like, how come you have such a big family? Where do you guys live? You know, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? And I just really didn't know a lot about the platforms. I really wasn't thinking of privacy and safety. Just to be honest with you, I really wasn't. Um, and when people would ask for things, you know, you gotta give the people what they want, right? And I know I've said that before. And it, I really wasn't thinking of our family's safety or privacy or that anything would happen to us. I was just thinking, oh, they want to know how a big family works, you know, no big deal. And now I'm seeing that it's a big deal. And, and I'm seeing that families have people, you know, different creators, whether they're big families or single people are having visitors, strangers. And I'm very thankful to, to this day that none of that has happened to us. And I know some of you are saying, but you've had these videos on forever and what are you going to do about it? Well, I can't do anything about the past. I can only learn from my mistakes and take action now. And even though my kids have, like Haley, she wanted me to do the video and I'm like, okay, we're excited about the house. But then as you sit there and think like, oh, maybe that wasn't such a great idea, even though she consented and she was excited about it. It just wasn't the right decision. And I just decided to private any house tours, um, any, and, and like you'll see, like I have videos to where we've redone bedrooms and stuff and I'm okay with that. But anything that shows like the construction of the house, um, construction meaning um, how you can get from room to room, how you can come into our house, the layout is what I'm trying to say, the layout. And so last night I sat down and went through all my videos and, and I started removing anything that had a layout, um, anything that would show how people could get to our house. I And I'm telling you, I removed some pretty big videos. I got lots of views, which isn't a good thing, right? Because that means that many people have seen it. And so I removed videos to where it would show all of our cars with our license plates. I wasn't even thinking, like I wasn't thinking. And, and it's just... Like I've told you guys this last several months, I've been telling you I have this big awakening for me. I'm just finding that this platform is not worth my family. And it, it's been so fun and I enjoy sharing things with you guys. I enjoy the cooking, even though some people think I, you know, I'm, I'm a disgusting cook, but you know, I don't show you guys everything. I just show you meals that I feel like you're gonna wanna share, you know, you'll wanna see. I don't video every single thing we eat every single day. I don't think people realize that. You know, they're like, oh, you cook so horrible. Your family's going to die. Well, you're seeing two meals. I cook every day. We have breakfast. We have lunch. But whatever. That's for another video. And so I just, um, I feel like for our family's privacy and safety, I understand those videos are out there. But I can only start now and not make that mistake anymore. So I have privated all the tours. I've privated anything with our license plates. And um, I know somebody had mentioned We'll make sure that you don't share your kids' privacy. And I feel like for the most part, I've done a pretty good job about that. I, I don't talk about the history of the birth parents or why our kids came into our home or names of the birth parents or I, or any of that private stuff. I don't share my kids' medical diagnosis. I just, I, I guess I've never, never thought to share that. I just wanted to share our family and how we became a family. Um, I did overshare Joshua, which I have already apologized for months ago, and I'm correcting that and making sure when I share Joshua, we just share his milestones 
and things that he's accomplishing, excuse me, instead of things that happened to him, which I realize I can't take that off. I, I, I can't take it off, but hopefully people will see that as not a re, a wanting to exploit my child, but just to share hope that even though this happens, you can overcome it, they'll overcome it, and they can still do good things and they can still be successful in the world and get milestones. And, and so that was kind of my thinking with Joshua. Um, you know, our page started to grow because of Joshua. I mean, I'll be honest with you, people loved him. And did I use that a little bit to our advantage? I did. And and I'm sorry for it. I apologize for it. It, it was wrong. Um, but people, I know you guys all have favorites, right? Some people love Izzy and Josh. Some people love this, you know, this, the stubbornness of Gideon. Some people love the cool, you know, Robert or the funny Brendan or, you know, Haley, how she helps me so much. And I know everybody has their favorites. Um, but I just feel like there's some serious things happening and I can't go back and fix the past. I can only learn, watch and listen. And that's what I've been doing is I've been watching I've been listening. I know a lot of these commentaries, people are like, uh, commentaries, but maybe some things are crap, but there's some things that are good that I'm listening to. So I don't make those mistakes over and over. There's a lot of good people on TikTok. And I know I've shared this with you before, but the one thing that got me on this journey to really like reflect on like what's going on with you and your platforms and, and why are you so obsessed was the uncharted mom. Mom, I'm charted. She's on Instagram and on TikTok, but she's the one that said, if your kids weren't in your videos, would your platform still be there? And and it got me thinking, holy crap, I don't know. I don't know. And so I know our page looks different. Um, we do share, we do share, we do still share funny things about our family, um, our traditions, our birthday traditions. And you know what's funny is I know, I'm, my, my words are, I know a lot of people probably think that, um, oh, you always video your kids and blah, blah, blah. I've always been like this, like no lie. I've always taken pictures and videos of my kids and, um, because I'm a picture taker, I'm a video taker. And when I just got a new computer because my computer was crashing for our business and the computer guy's like, I think I can transfer everything over. And he's like, let me look. And he's like, holy cow you have lots of pictures and videos. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm a memory prep person. I had thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures and videos that I had taken. And he's like, I think I can get them in a folder. So this is just something I've already done. The only difference is we're sharing it with people who support us and love us. And I guess we're sharing it with people who also hate us and make fun of us and don't like us and call us names and blah, blah, blah. You can't please everybody, right? Um, so anyway, this is just some of the reasons why I did this. And also if you're new to vlogging, you're a new family wanting to get on the platform, just be really careful. Don't get caught up in the hype of things. Don't get caught up in the, um, the stress and the obsession over views, likes, and followers, because man, it's going to get you to do things you wouldn't normally do. And it's going to get you to like have a brain fart where you're not, you're like thinking, oh, that's no big deal. It's a big deal. And I'm seeing that now. And I'm very, very thankful that to this day, our family's safe and we're doing fine. And so nobody has to worry. We haven't been targeted or, you know, um, nobody's, you know, threatened anything or come to see us. And I'm very thankful for that. And that's just by the grace of God that through my stupidity that he's protected my family. It's all through him. And and of course, my husband's knowledge, he was like, um, you shouldn't be doing house tours. You shouldn't be sharing that. And he's, my husband's very grounded and he's very, very, very patient with me. Sorry about that. My phone died on me. Um, anyway, I just wanted to get on here just to tell anybody who's thinking about doing all this, just to make sure you start doing things right, right away. Don't get caught up in the hype. Just protect your family right away and share fun things, share traditions, share gardening and recipes and maybe vacations at a minimum. Um, don't ever do anything in live though. So don't share videos in live time. Make sure you're back and safe before you start sharing things. But this is just some thoughts. I just want to share my feelings with you. 
um, this is what I've been burdened about and I feel so much better. Was it hard to remove some of them? It was, but it's the most important thing to do. So thank you for your support. Like I really do appreciate it. Thank you for support. Make sure to subscribe just to the bells 10 and share us with everybody that you love. All right, um, stay tuned for Izzy's birthday. And I did vlog some things at Epcot and um, Hollywood Studios. So those are coming up too. All right, thank you very much.